so if you convert 83 into binary so this is a decimal number 83 if you convert it you will get these are the values now look at the example here the 75 so the 75 in decimal number you have to convert this into binary so this is the binary point of 75 the first position in binary is all of it is 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 3 dear students Welcome to Computer Science Classes. I am Ravi Kumar K.R., Lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyashram Piyu College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, let us start our session with concept, representation of signed integers. Representation of signed integers. Now, a negative signed integer can be represented in one of the following ways. Here, what is the meaning of signed integers? A negative numbers or we can say negative integers. So, how do we represent negative numbers in computers? That is representation of signed integers. So, here there are three methods. So, where there we can represent negative numbers. One of them is sign and magnitude method or representation one's complement representation and two's complement representation. These are the three methods to represent negative integers. Now let us see these things one by one. First method is sign and magnitude representation. Now what is the definition of this? An integer containing a sign bit, sign bit followed by a magnitude bits are called sign and magnitude integers. Now, the MSB is always the sign bit and remaining bits always stands for magnitude. Now here, this is MSB. The first bit is MSB, that is sign bit and this is, these are magnitude bits. Now let us take an example here. Here, this is 83, this is plus 83. So, in normally how do you represent in binary? So, if you convert 83 into binary, so this is a decimal number 83. If you convert it, you will get these are the values. So, here if you observe this, these are the values in binary of this 83. And here last bit that is called MSB, that is MSB stands for most significant bit. So that is 0. If the sign bit is 0, it is referred as positive number or plus 83. And here this is the sign bit and all these are magnitudes bits. So this is sign and magnitude. And look at another example here. Here minus 83. Minus 83, this is 83 are the same values converting this decimal into binary values. So after that, the last MSB in this we represent here with 1. 1 in MSB stands for it is a negative integer. So this MSB is a sign bit and rest of the values are magnitude bits. So this is a sign and magnitude method where we can represent negative integers. Now let us move on to one more method that is one's complement representation. Here the negative binary numbers is formed by subtracting, subtracting the value of each bit in the world from 1. So what is one's complement representation? It is the given negative numbers which has to be subtracted from 1. So, if you subtract this numbers by 1, it changes the values of each bit from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. So, how do we represent in 1's complement form? The negative numbers are represented using 1's complement form by subtracting the given binary numbers so that it changes the values or digits from 0 to 1, 1 to 0. And one's complement of a binary number easily obtained by changing 
all ones into zero and all zeros into ones of binary number. So this is another method. Directly we can change in the given binary number from one to zeros and zero to one. So now look at the example here. This is the given number 101000. This is a binary number. Now, how do we represent the negative number here? By subtracting these numbers by 1. So, this is what in the first statement. So, subtracting this, you will get this. This is the value. Now, once if you observe this value, this is nothing but changing each zeros to 1 and 1 to 0. So, this is one of the method of representing negative integers that is one's complement representation. Now let us see one more method that is two's complement representation. The two's complement of binary number is obtained by adding one, adding digit one to the one's complement of binary number. So definition of two's complement method is that two's complement of a binary number equals one's complement plus one. So this is nothing but first we have to convert the given binary number into one's complement form. That is by changing zero to one and one to zero. Then after that to the result, we have to add digit one. So what we get at the end, that is in two's complement form of negative integer. Now look at the example here, binary number, one zero one triple zero. Now two's complement of this number obtained as follows. First one is one's complement of this number is this. Observe this. One's complement of this is changing zero to one, one to zero. Then after that we have to add one to it. We have to add digit one so that we'll get the answer. This is the final answer. So this is nothing but two's complement of the given negative number or negative integer. So this is two's complement representation, another method of representing negative integers. Now let us move on to next concept that is binary arithmetic. So what is binary arithmetic? Adding binary numbers or binary digits. So look at the rules or the, this is a table which shows how to add two binary digits. This table shows the, how do we add two binary digits. Now here, first one is add in one, add in two. These are the two digits. So here zero plus zero, that equal to zero and carry one. Here there are two columns, one is sum and carry. So zero plus zero, 0, 0 plus 1, 1 and here sum is 1, carry is 0. Now 1 plus 0 equals 1, carry is 0. Now 1 plus 1, look at this combination. If you want to add two ones here, sum is 0 and carry is 1. So this is a table shows to add two bits of a binary number. Now let us look at the example now, add 75 and 18 in binary. Now look at the example here, the 75. So the 75 in decimal number, we have to convert this into binary. So this is the binary equivalent of 75. Again 18 and this is binary equivalent of 18. Now we have to add these two. So write the same values here and this is for 18. Now we have to start adding these two. Here 1 plus 0. Here this as per the table 1 plus 0 is 1. Here 1 plus 1. Here 1 plus 1 is sum is 0, carry is 1. So 1 plus 0 is 0, carry 1. Now we are going to add this carry to this. So 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. And 1 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. This 0 as it is 1 plus 0 that is 1. So this is the final result. So adding binary numbers or adding 75 and 18 in binary. What are the steps to be followed? First you have to convert this given 75 in decimal number into binary. So convert these two then by following 
this rules of add binary arithmetic or binary addition we have to add these two so this result in addition of two binary numbers or addition of 75 and 18 in binary so this is binary addition now let us move on to next slide it is binary subtraction binary subtraction now this is the table here we say minuend and subtrahend differences and borrow in previous example we have seen the column add end and here sum and carry but here minuend subtrahend difference and borrow now suppose we want to subtract 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 minus 1 here 0 minus 1 is 1 borrow is 1 as 1 is as higher value we cannot subtract higher number with from the smallest number we have to borrow it from the previous next higher position that is borrow and here 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and here borrows are 0 except for 0 minus 1 is difference is 1 and borrow is 1 now let us see the example Subtract 75 and 25 that is minus 25 and this 75 binary equivalent is this and this is 25 binary equivalent is this. Now I have to start subtracting the numbers. So here this is minuend 75 subtrahend that is 25 here 75 is minuend and 25 is subtrahend. Subtract as usual. Here 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 0, 1, 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. Now in this example, 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1, as in the table, we have to difference is 1 and borrow is 1. So we have to borrow from this position. We have to borrow from this position 0. It is 1 minus 1 is 1 and borrow is 1. So this is the difference. So this is the result. So this is binary subtraction. Next concept is computer codes. Now all of us know that computers works with a machine level language and we represent all the data information in machine level language. In other words, we have to represent all data and information in the form of codes they are called as computer codes so computer codes are used for internal representation data in computers and a computers use binary numbers binary numbers for internal data representation computer codes use binary coding scheme as all of us know that computer knows only a machine level language it is nothing but a combination of zeros and one nothing but binary numbers. So computer can understand only binary numbers. So computer codes use this binary coding scheme to represent data and information. Now in binary coding, every symbol that appears in data is represented by a group of bits. So here the computer coding is nothing but it is made up of number of a group of bits forms to, to to represent a symbol or a character. Now, thus the computer codes represent various characters, numbers and control keys that the computer user selects on the keyboard. So, whatever the characters available on the keyboard, all are represented using computer codes. Now, let us move on to next slide. Here, some of the commonly used computer codes are BCD, which stands for binary coded decimal, BCD. Then EPCDIC, EPCDIC stands for extended binary coded decimal interchange code. And ASCII, ASCII, -A ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And one more method is access recode. So these are all different coding system to represent 
data and, and information in computers. Now let us see the definition of all these things one by one. Now let us see what are BCD codes. BCD, it is also called as 8421 coding system. BCD, binary coded decimal or 8421 coded decimal. So it is one of the early computer codes. In this coding system, the bits are given from left to right, the weights are 8421. So this is 8421 respectively. It is also called as 8421 coding system. The in 4-bit BCD code, only 24, that is equal to 16 configurations are possible, which is insufficient to represent the various characters used by computers. So now look at the example now. The decimal number 537 is represented in BCD, that is also known as 8421 coding system. Here 537 is a decimal number 537. And here, as here we are using 8421. Here, the first position in binary is all of it is 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 3. So here, if you just I will write it here. First is 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 3. Here, 2 to the power of 0 is always 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, and 2 cube is 8, 8, 4, 2, 1. That is why it is called as 8, 4, 2, 1 coding system. So accordingly, we have to convert this 5, is a decimal number, into binary with 4 bits. So this is the number. Then for 3, it is 0, 0, 1, 1. We have to make use of 4 bits. And here for 7, it is 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is a BCD or representation of the decimal number 5, 3, 7. Now, these are all the tables. It shows the BCD values for different characters. Here from, for example, 1 to 9, I mean 1 to 9 and digit 0. And this is for characters A to I. These are some examples on the table shows the BCD code for few characters. Next coding system is XS3 BCD code or XS3 coding system. So what is XS3 coding system? It is non-weighted code and is obtained from 8421 code only by adding 3, by adding 3 to the BCD value. Now look at the example here, the decimal number 537 would be represented in the excess code as. Now look at 537. So this is we have to convert this into BCD. First one is BCD as we have learned in the previous slide. So this is BCD equivalent of 5 and as per the excess 3 code, we have to add 3, adding 3 to this. So 3 binary equivalent is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. This stands for 3, adding 3 to this digit. So we will get the answer 1, 0, 0, 0. Similarly for 3 and similarly for 7. So this is 5, 3, 7 in excess code will be these are the values. So this is how we represent the decimal number 537 in excess BCD, excess 3. BCD coding system. Now let us move on to next slide. This is next one is EPSIDIC or extended binary coded decimal interchange code. EPSIDIC stands for extended binary coded decimal interchange code. Now what is this EPSIDIC? This coding was downloaded by IBM and it is 8 bit code and it has 256 possible coding groups. So this is a coding system. It is of developed by IBM. It has 8-bit coding system. This coding scheme is used with a large computers as mainframe. Normally, EPSIDIC is a type of coding system 
we are using it in mainframe computers. Now let us move on to the next slide that is ASCII coding system. It is ASCII stands for American Standard Core for Information Interchange. So what is ASCII? It is a 7 bit code. It represents around 128 characters. The first three bits are used as zone bit and the last four bits indicate the digit. This coding is used to represent alpha numeric and some special characters. It is used in microcomputers and for data communication. Since microcomputers use 8 bits, the ASCII was extended up to an 8 bit coding system. So, what we using normally, the microcomputers, we use ASCII coding system. It is a 7 bit code and in latest version, now in microcomputers, we are using nowadays 8 bit ASCII. So, it is ASCII coding system. Students, in this session, we have understood the concept of computer coding system. Under that, we have studied different coding system like ASCII, APSIDIC, BCD, and XS BCD system. So, we'll continue our discussion in my next session. Thank you so much.